Swanson is joining me in the kitchen and we're making risotto, but not with aborio rice. We're making it with risoni. Yeah, Very forget the rice, Jess. We're using San Remo <laughs> risoni. No need. This yep. is a real quick one. A little bit of a cheats way of doing okay. a risotto that works. I don't mind cheating. <laughs> Every now and then. So firstly, we need to get, it's a carrot and fennel mm -hmm. uh, risotto. Gorgeous so little, some lovely carrots here. Yeah, little Dutch carrots. Yeah, and my fennel. So I'll get you to chop them up and I'll cut up the fennel. And we've just peeled these, giving them a really good wash. Of course, that's a must. Now these fennel fronds on top, mm -hmm. right? This is stuff in the restaurant that we charge, you know, an extra 10, 15 bucks a plate for. So we keep them, yep. all right? Nice little garnish. Also these Dutch little carrots too. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. But they've got a great flavour to them, and if you don't want to use Dutch carrots for this recipe, you could just use the good old classic carrot, just finely chop it, just as I'm doing. Exactly right. But it's just that little bit of sweetness that comes from the Dutch ones that I like. Mm -hmm. And so what are we doing with this? Is this going to be finely chopped in the risotto, or...? Mm, okay, no. We're going to add this into a pan with a good amount of olive oil, butter, mm. caraway seeds as well. <gasps> caraway seeds and yeah. carrots, best mates, aren't they? They are, they are. Okay, so the carrots are finely chopped. Beautiful. Did you want um, a few more, the whole lot? Yeah, the okay. whole lot, definitely, because no we want that beautiful, rich, vibrant orange mm. colour seed to our risotto. That's where it's going to come from. Mm -hmm. So olive oil into the pan. Good amount. Butter. Okay. Caraway in as well. Diced onion in as well. Yep. And that goes. Mm -hmm. Now, in with our fennel. All in at once. And carrots go in at the same time? Yep, at oh. the same time. Nice and easy. So we're going to sauté it all off, get all the flavours combining together, get a nice caramelisation happening with the carrots and the fennel. Yep. Then I'm going to cover it with chicken stock, mm -hmm. just enough to cover it, mm -hmm. and then cook it till they're nice and tender, mm -hmm. okay? Great. At that point, then we're going to put it into a food processor and make our beautiful puree. I like making puree, so I'll do that. Oh, done. <laughs> Gus, let's have a look. Check our carrots and fennel. You want to try? See if it's nice and tender. Mm. Yeah? Mm. I could just eat that like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need you, I'll allow you to do that. Okay. So basically put it into a food processor, get it nice and smooth is what we're looking for. Sure. And there's the perfect amount of liquid. Yeah, that... so that's reduced down by half, maybe even two thirds. Yep. We'll add the whole thing. The whole lot. Okay. All right, I'll blitz that. While you're doing that, I'm going to grab our risoni mm -hmm. and place that into salted boiling water. So, a good pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. So, risoni takes about mm, eight minutes to cook. Yep. We're going to cook for six and then finish it off in our beautiful puree. Ah, okay, I can see how this is all coming together. So, like I said, it's a bit of a cheats way of making a risotto, but the great thing about it, the pasta is fantastic. This risoni just takes on all the flavour mm. and gives you that, I guess, not so starchy and stodgy, you know, like sometimes when you overcook rice. Yep. You know, that's why I love the risoni. It's nice and smooth, mm. it's tasty. And the little grains, if so to speak, will be separate. Correct. Very good. All right, Just our pasta needs to cook for eight minutes, but we're cooking for six, so it's under. We're going to finish it in our beautiful carrot and fennel puree, which you've done there. Back into the pan, straight into the pan. Oh, look at that. See how silky smooth that is? That's exactly what I'm looking for. And it's quite thick, okay, because obviously that chicken stock reduced down. Yeah. Now, take our pasta out of the water. Don't be scared to use some of that water there, okay? So that's going to help thin out our puree. Yeah. Never seen this being done. It's very cool. You like it? <laughs> I like it a lot, yeah. Nice. Turn the heat off there. Just going to mix that through. Right. And I was trying to work out how you would do this if you would do that classic risotto by adding onions and mm. then slowly adding stock. But Which takes time. Look at know. this. It looks like a, a traditional risotto. Yeah. So we're going to check the seasoning jar. Yep. So grab a spoon and just tell me if it needs any salt or pepper. I'll allow you to take it. All right. You can be my adjudicator. Tell mm. me. No Happy? more salt. Yep, no more perfect. salt, peppers all good. Love it's perfect. It. I mean, we all seasoned right. the water with the, the risoni and we've seasoned this, the, um, the puree, so it's perfect. perfect. Fantastic. Now, this dish needs a little bit of a cheese element, something different, so mm. we made some labna. Mm. So labna being basically Greek yogurt that we've taken, mixed with some dried mint, seasoning of salt and pepper and olive oil. Mix it all together, place it into cheesecloth, mm -hmm. tie it up into a sieve with a bowl underneath and yep. into the fridge for about 10 to 12 hours. That's it. You can see how thick it is. It's 
pretty much transformed into a cheese. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's our cheese element there. So I'm going to get you to make little dumpling like. So you're going okay. to do some quenelles after to finish off our risotto. Just to put on the top yeah, of the garnish. Yeah, just on top. Beautiful. To finish off, what yes. would be a risotto without a last little bit of butter? Yep. So I'm just going to just a little bit like so. In there goes for the richness mm -hmm. and glossy. Yep. To finish off. Okay, Jas, that's mm. looking really good. Yep. Now, a good risotto shouldn't stand up like Mount Vesuvio. You know the you know, <laughs> yeah. famous volcano in Naples, where I'm from? Shouldn't stand up like that. There's nothing analogy. worse. Oh, <laughs> seriously, you go to these restaurants and places and you sit and you look at yep. it and you go, no, it should be nice and soft, milky, straight onto the plate. And I love how you serve it on a plate. Yeah. Because it shouldn't be in a bowl like a nope. soup at all. It should be nice and thin. Then the other little tip is what we do in the restaurant. Okay. I do this now with my risotto. Ah, see? Oh. <laughs> we stole it off, off you. <laughs> That's all right. So just spreading it out like so. Yep. I'll get you to do a couple of quenelles. So we've got okay. some hot water with our basically our dessert spoons in there. And small ones? Yeah, just some small little dumplings of the lamina. Little dumplings. Nice. Three? Yeah, three. One. You know, always in odds. Yeah. They're not the best. Uh... No, nah, they're good. You're I'm happy? happy. Okay. I'm happy. Right. As long as you're happy, it's all and that I'm matters. Just, remember those little fronds we talked about before? Mm -hmm. Just going to drop over our risotto. Off you get, little one. <laughs> it doesn't want to get off the spoon. Oh, no. There we go. Then finish with your little fennel fronds, like so. Oh, Touch wow. more cracked pepper. Parmesan? Parmesan, of course. Just to finish. Wow. Just no need for rice when you've got risoni, huh? It looks so spectacular. And I really can't wait to do this at home with different types of purees. Yeah. I mean, we've done with carrot and fennel, but the list is endless on what you could do with it. Like, yeah, yeah let's, uh, let's have a taste of this. I'm really excited about the flavour combination with the caraway seeds in there, fennel and carrot, and the labne. Mm. Honestly, that is incredible. And it looks like a restaurant quality dish, of course, has come from Adam. <laughs> but there's two elements of it. You get them right, you're going to be making a professional-looking risotto with risoni. Love it! <laughs>